This looks super basic, super janky, but the magic happens when we hit the auto physics button. Hello, welcome back to Advanced Animation Application, where we look at animation-y stuff. Wow. Today, we're going to be looking at a very cool program that I have been tinkering with as of late. So Cascada is completely free to use with a few little caveats and restrictions. Now, as you can see, as Unreal developers, uh, we are treated with a just a straight up Unreal ready skeleton, which is pretty cool. The camera controls of the program make me want to die because I'm so used to Blender controls. I wish I could change the camera controls, but we cannot as of yet. Uh, it is apparently coming in the future, so we're just going to have to put up with it for now. So, what is Cascadeur? Well, it is an animation program, and I guess the main kicker is that it has this thing called the auto-posing tool, um, which is basically just like a full-body IK uh, posing tool, basically. So, what we're going to do to begin is we're going to click auto key because you know how much I love auto key and we're going to grab the shoulders we're going to press R to lock them R is for lock or maybe it's for root or something like that uh, we're going to move these hands down here Oop. just for a nice little relaxed starting oh pose this camera control has got me again okay cool uh, now this is keyframe one so we're going to press F let's go to keyframe 10 press another keyframe and we're going to unlock these parts here and let's make our character crouch down so let's grab this uh, we'll also grab the hands as well and we will move them down and we're also going to click these and go alt z no shift z okay cool so there are basically a few nodes here, a few joints. Uh, the big green ones are the the main points, I guess. Uh, and then the less green ones are like the directors, like the directional bits. So these won't actually move the entire thing. They're just going to adjust little positions. So you can see that this isn't actually moving the hands position or the, the next position. Um, but we can adjust, you know, the direction of it. And when we have moved that, it will become blue. So we're going to just leave that there for now. Uh, let's bring these hands back because we're going to be doing a, a jump or something. So we're going to put our hands behind us like this. Uh, we're going to skip forward 10 more frames. Just hit F. And then let's get this fella into his jumping pose so we're going to let's root the toes in place and grab these and just whoop and we're gonna bring these hands forward so now we have this he's gonna go down he's gonna jump and we're just gonna move him up here We'll bend his legs a bit, you know, we'll just... He's he's moved up, he's doing his thing. We're just going to drag him like this, probably. Yep, you can see his feet automatically connect with the floor nicely. Uh, we're going <laughs> to move these damn hands a bit. So now he has landed, and then he will recover. He'll go bleh. These will probably end up down by his side or something and he'll be leaning forward a bit and you can see that this auto pose tool is you know it's never creating bad poses I guess um, the one thing that kind of frustrates me is the shoulders always seem to slump a bit so just be careful with the shoulders. You may have to correct them every so often. Uh, or it might just be the mannequin model is an absolute fucking pain. Uh, so, now let's grab this pose here. We're going to copy. We're going to go to frame 60, new keyframe. And we're just going to paste this and move it 
forward until it lines up with where the feet were before. Okay, so here's what we have so far. That looks terrible because we haven't added any interpolations. So let's select everything and we're going to go here. Instead of step, we're going to go to Bezier. Bam. And that's like our basic, you know, animation style. Um, now, you can see that this has problems. Uh, firstly, that being the hands. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to here and add another keyframe. We're going to move these hands to where they should be. Which is in front because we want him to go like this. Yeah, cool. Okay, so this looks super basic, super janky, but the magic happens when we hit the auto physics button. So what the physics tool does seemingly is it uses physics to actually drive like an AI driven version of the thing um, that actually has physical properties and basically just does awesome stuff. Now, one thing that we're going to need to do here is to actually get our feet track. So we're going to go to our legs. In our legs track, we are going to here. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it for the feet, not the legs. And let's switch these to linear. And this is going to prevent the um, the feet from clipping through the floor because the, the Bezier curves are just a... they're an ass pain. Uh, let's actually copy this and paste it to here. And then when we land, this is probably the more important part, uh, we want the feet to be linear. Otherwise, they're going to you know, if you know about Bezier curves and interpolation, that kind of thing, they're going to want to keep going in the direction that they were going and then smooth out to where they were. So by putting these to linear, they are just going to go, boop. You might have to do the legs as well. Is that what you're saying? There we go. So you can see my janky ass animation here, and then you can see it when it has auto physics applied. Um, and you can see that this looks much more realistic. It uses proper, you know, gravity, uses a ballistic trajectory. The feet, you know, the landing looks way more solid. There's secondary motion. It's just good. It's just really good shit. <laughs> and so if we wanted this to become the actual animation over here, what we would do is we would go up to the top. We would go snap to auto physics, and that is gonna key every frame over here to the physics one. And, you know, now if we wanted to make any more tweaks, we could go in and make some tweaks once we change this back to, you know, Bezier mode. So while he's in the air, you know, maybe we want him to do something different, like uh, maybe we want him to, you know, tuck his legs in or something like that. We could grab these little end nodes and oh, move them in a bit. Maybe this one. Can you go in? Yeah, there, there, there. That's, that's better. And now if we look at it again, you can see that this adjusts to it. And, you know, looks pretty ripper. So basically, Cascadeur, it can turn a very average animation into something that's just got a lot more polish. It's got like those really nuanced, you know, secondary motions um, and all that really cool stuff. This is physically accurate. This is actually being driven by physics in order to do this. There's a bunch of other tools in here that, you know, can do some really, really ripper stuff. So now this actually, if we do something super simple, like make a few keyframes here, uh, I might just make it a bit bigger using control T for time or something. I don't know. Um, we're going to interpolate Bayesially. And on this keyframe, let's put this foot up. And on this keyframe, this foot is going to be up. And then if we look at the physics man, you can see that, you know, it is interpreting, you know, this as, as good as possible 
and making it actually like physically accurate. You know, you can you can kind of start to see the the power of this. Now it does take a lot of messing around with to get it right sometimes, but I'm a big fan of the the auto physics tool. Um, I think it's an absolute ripper. But that is our first look at Cascadeur. Um, so I'm going to be covering this a little bit more on the channel because I think it is a really great tool uh, and it can really help beginners at animation achieve more polished and like game ready animations and stuff. We're not going to go like super deep on the technical side of things like, you know, how to set up a custom rig and all that stuff, even though it is very easy to set up a custom rig. Um, we're just not going to go too technical because they do have really, really good documentation, both written documentation and step-by-step -step video documentation on how all of the tools work. Like there's a lot of calculation tools, you know, you can calculate ballistic trajectory of the center of mass of, you know, a character that's in the air and, you know, then snap it to that thing and retime it so that it's all like physically accurate and then the physics tool has a way easier job, you know, when it's, when it is timed correctly and all that kind of stuff. So if you are interested in checking it out, there'll be a link in the description. And I'm looking forward to making a few more videos on it because it's just, it's fun and easy to use. So thanks for watching. If you found this educational or entertaining, make sure you subscribe, keep up to date with future videos. And if you do want to support the channel, one step further you can do so through our patreon for as little as one dollar per month that's linked below also if you want to watch everything happen live on stream there's a link in the description for the twitch and if you're having trouble with anything unreal engine related uh, there's also a link in the in the description to join our discord server where we all help each other achieve our our dreams our our dreams uh, <laughs> so i guess with that we say goodbye. Goodbye.